All right, Hayes Mega here. So uh, I got a little. Um, I guess this is like a kind of like a show and tell. Uh, so this is a this is an upcoming project of mine. This is the Moto Breeze Automatic Chain Lubricator. So so I'm gonna tell you now. Uh, I've been trying to rig up some kind of automatic oiling system or some kind of chain oiler to the DR650 because I don't like uh, I don't like having to do chain maintenance. <laughs> or at least lube the chain. Um, I'd rather spend less time working on the bike after a long adventure ride and more time drinking beers and shit. So, 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 so I want an automatic chain oiler um, so I don't have to worry about the chain while I'm riding. Um, what I do right now is I carry, uh, I carry cans of uh, lubricant with me and um, that's what I put on every, like every couple days. So, so look down here is I have a little project here. Um, this is actually a uh, some kind of relay timer. It's a programmable relay timer with a um, with an electronic uh, so, um, uh, gas water solenoid. And this was supposed to be uh, what I used to uh, to do uh, to make a chain oiler. Uh, here's here's also this is part of it. Also, I was going to use a, a kind of like a brake fluid reservoir, and it would go into here into the solenoid and the, the solenoid works it works and it would be electric um, the reason being uh, I need it to be electric or it has to be non vacuum activated is because uh, is because I don't have a vacuum line on my bike I have an FCR carb and it doesn't have a vacuum line like for the for the fuel um, fuel tap so uh, so I would have to make one or uh, and, and like well I have a Scott oiler on my KLR and um, and those things are so expensive, and it, the one on the KLR leaks, so um, not happy with it. Um, so yeah, so I went and got this, and uh, this damn relay doesn't work properly. It isn't um, the way it works is you you um, you set off the timer, and then it will uh, it'll count down for however long you uh, set it, and it will open this, and then that'll be it. It'll close again, and then you have to like you have to short the wire again. Um, the trigger wire again and then it'll start counting down open again I want it to do that autonomously automatic in a loop but this doesn't do that so so but back to the drawing board so electronic chain oiler uh, that's a no-go <laughs> for now um, so uh, anyway fast forward to uh, my alternative solution the moto breeze so I got this on ADV rider for like Sixty dollars. Yeah, I got it for sixty bucks. I think they're like a hundred bucks. Uh, I think someone was just trying to get rid of it or something, so I offered them sixty bucks, and, and I got it. So here it is. This is the Moto Breeze, um, and I kind of been looking up stuff on it today and um, how to install it and everything. And I kind of, I kind of figured it out, and I might actually give it a try. Uh, actually, on a DR650, I have what's called a lube man. I had what's called a lube man, and I didn't like it. it was I just didn't like it. It's the one though, with the little squeeze bottle. You squeeze it, and it shoots some stuff on your on your thing, and then uh, and then you ride, and then you know it was just annoying. It just got in the way of the, the sprocket and everything. So anyway, so this is the meat and potatoes of the motor breeze system. Um, so what it is, it's it's, it's kind of like a this looks like a um, one of those uh, water water filter things, um, water separator on a on an air compressor. I think that's kind of like what it is. But anyway. So it has like a one-way valve system where like um, basically this uses the wind to force open a valve and it sucks it sucks your fluid out through here and then out here and then it drops it onto your chain right here. That's that's kind of how it works in, in, a, in a nutshell. Um, this here is um, this ugly looking thing is a is a air uh, a air water separator. So. So, so this thing is wind activated. There's an intake hose right here. So this is your intake hose, and um, and you mount this somewhere on the front of your bike. And uh, I kind of figured out a place I'm going to put it on the DR already. And then it it pushes the. It creates a, a pressure. It pressurizes the system, and then and like and then it works like I said. It like it pushes uh, the air into here, and then it starts sucking up the the oil, and then it spits it out there. So, uh, so uh, this this is required because uh, if you're riding in the rain or something or just some kind of moisture, it's to take the um, the water out of it. Um, it's a catch can, is what it is basically. So that is kind of annoying. Uh, it kind of takes up a lot of space. 
where I kind of just put a lot of oil in here. <laughs> Mega hair. But, uh, I got, so I got the good some mounting goodies for my uh, my Moto Breeze uh, installation project here. So uh, so the important part is I found something to hold the um, the reservoir, uh, the unit. So uh, it's called a split ring hanger, and I got it at a one and a quarter. So fully, t unfortunately, so so this is what it looks like. It's like basically like two half sections of a pipe that you like uh, you kind of tighten together. Um, but it's bigger. That's why I got one and a quarter. I wanted it bigger. What I'm gonna do is I want to put like a, a anti vibration rubber dampener thing on it. So so it's not you know it's got something to grip it to. Um, so that's why I bought these. These are rubber packing sheets, and they're different thicknesses. This one is a 1 8 thickness, and this is a 1 16 thickness. So depending on how thick I need it, uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut it and put it around here, inside here, to kind of like you know something to grip it with, and then um, and then I'm gonna cut a bracket. Um, I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna use an aluminum bracket, and I'm gonna twist it so it mounts onto the frame where that. Um, where there's a, um, a bolt. So that's the plan. So I got this at Lowe's in the plumbing section for I think it was two dollars or something. I think these were two dollars also. Um, so pretty cool. Hopefully it works. Use my gut.